So some of the basic characteristics of a modern roundabout is priority to the circulating vehicles. Circulating vehicles have the right-of-way. In other words, you have to yield at entry, also known as the offside priority, or yield to left rule, as opposed to yield to the right, which is what we're accustomed to. The direction of circulation is in a counterclockwise direction. And then there's also pedestrian access. It is allowed only across the legs of the roundabout uh, behind the yield line. So pedestrians are uh, required to cross here, or here, or here, or here. But nobody's supposed to be walking across the uh, circle like that. Pedestrians are somewhat disadvantaged by the roundabout because they end up walking and having to look over their shoulder. Uh, at least that's kind of what I do when I walk across an intersection that has a roundabout. If I'm doing this, I'm looking backwards, turning my head as I'm walking in the opposite direction to see if there's somebody coming. Just want to make sure that I, that uh, people see me or I see them and, and so on. Um, so there's a little bit of a disadvantage there. Uh, but there's some very significant advantages from a vehicular safety uh, conflict reduction standpoint. We see that these symbols represent the number of conflict points. And you can count that there are, uh, I'm trying to erase my writing here. You can count the number of conflict points that are shown. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And four of them are merging, and four of them are diverging. But there are no crossing conflicts. And ordinarily, at a four-legged intersection, the most violent, uh, the most um, serious crashes involved crossing vehicles. And those are eliminated by the roundabout. There are none. They're either diverging or they're merging. And those typically happen at lower speeds. So that's one of the reasons that the roundabout is very attractive. Plus, you don't have a traffic signal. And many times, you do not need to, to stop. You could actually slow down and flow through the intersection as opposed to stopping and waiting 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or something for the light to clear and to turn green to let you go through. So there's also some time savings, energy savings. A typical four-legged intersection has a total of 32 conflict points. And this reduces it down to eight. So one of the things that we're going to talk about a little bit later on tonight is highway safety manual and um, what the um, crash reduction can be by converting a rural four-legged at-grade intersection to a modern roundabout. And it all has to do with getting from 32 conflict points down to a total of eight. Uh, 